Hi, welcome to a brand new episode of this brand new show. Uh, I am Mahesh Ravi and today we'll do a walkthrough through the process of light field photography. So what exactly is light field? You might have heard that light field being called as the future of photography and how is that the future of photography? What is so special about light field photography or how is it different from uh, traditional DSLR photography? So when you are clicking a picture with your traditional camera, what you are capturing is the brightness and the color from the light uh, which is visible in the, in the field. Using your optical lens system, the light actually travels through to your camera and falls into the sensor, creating an image of the absolute focal point that you have, which is very critical. So uh, what that means is that you're going to get a two-dimensional image where you can manipulate only the brightness and color data of that image. Now let's talk about light field photography. Taking a picture with a light field camera, what it does is that it captures the color, brightness, and also the directions of light. So which means that rather than this being one absolute focal point, your light, the directions of light falls into an array of micro lenses which will record the information of multiple focal points and it will give uh, that information to the sensor which writes it into a file. So now let's take a look at uh, the camera that we'll be using for the workshop today. Uh, this is the Lytro Illium. Uh, th this is the second version from the Lytro uh, company which, which actually made Lytro version 1 a uh, couple of years ago which wasn't a huge success because it uh, didn't provide any of the, the, the controls that you will usually have in a DSLR camera and also uh, the resolution that this image provided was really really low. When you actually convert it to megapixel terms the Lytro version 1 was only able to give you a 1 megapixel picture which isn't enough for a decent print. Any of the settings that your DSLR camera provides with you, Lytro Illium has it. And it looks uh, very similar to a mirrorless DSLR camera. It's, it's a touch screen um, control system. So every control is basically on the touch screen LCD that you see here. You can also see that when you're focusing onto a subject, uh, you will see a, a depth range which is indicated right next uh, to your display. What it exactly means is that the line which is exactly in between these two regions is absolute focus when you're shooting that image. But the red region which is beyond your uh, absolute focus point and the blue region which is before your absolute focus point is totally refocusable after clicking your picture. So if you have an image clicked and you take it in your computer you can actually change your focus to any objects which comes under that particular range. So let's let's see this in action right now. So I'm, I'm for for this workshop I'm making uh, this diorama here. So I'm, I'm placing all these objects in a in a in a distance which actually comes under the blue and the red region which we have talked before. Uh, everything is within the depth range so everything here is refocusable so I can actually adjust uh, the focus if, you, if, I, if I want to do that. Okay so I'm, I'm all set uh, I'm gonna shoot my picture so I'm gonna just see uh, if it fits the frame and I can actually uh, this is actually a swirl LCD screen I can actually swirl it up so that in, in 90 degrees and 180 degrees that I want, I can actually view the image that I'm shooting without kneeling down. Here I go. I'm, I'm, I'm all set. I'm going to just click the Lytro uh, button to see uh, what comes in the depth range. 
and I'm clicking the shutter. So I'm going to open uh, the Lightro desktop. Lightro desktop is a, is a free software which comes with uh, your Lightro Illum camera. So once the uh, Lightro desktop is open, you can actually see uh, the image, the, the image that you have uh, clicked. As you can see, uh, I, as I click with the mouse, I'm already able to manipulate uh, the focus regions within the picture and it, it, it covers a pretty good range. Uh, and if we actually go to the adjust panel here, you can see the controls that you usually see in a camera row editor. But there is something which is, which is new, uh, is not there in uh, a traditional camera row editor, which is all, all these like tones, exposure, white balance, contrast, highlights, everything is going to be there. Uh, when you're working with your regular DSLR photographs. So uh, the thing which is totally new is the uh, aperture settings here. So what, what that means is that after clicking your picture, you can change your aperture to anything. So right now the aperture says that it, it's, it's been shot in f1.4. So see what happens to the picture if I'm moving it to f1. I'm actually getting a very shallow depth of field here. And if I'm just reducing it, if I'm narrowing it down to uh, F16, I'm going to get an image with a deep focus where everything that I've shot in the range is an absolute focus. I'm going to go back to F2, leave it at that. I'm going to select this particular person. Yeah, looks about all right. Also, if, I'm, if I go here to this particular button, what it does is it, it lets you manipulate your perspective. It's, it's, the image, uh, the camera captures the direction of light. You're able to manipulate the perspective that, or the angle that you actually shot on. So uh, you can actually see what the, the parallax that the image is creating when I'm moving uh, the mouse around. Now, another fun thing that you can do with uh, this picture is to animate the picture. It's basically that's how you should experience a, a living picture or a Lightro picture. Um, you can actually um, animate the interpolation between the focal points in uh, within a particular image. So if you if I click the play button, you can see how the how the focal points have smoothly it's it's been interpolated and it's 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 coming to an end. So I can reset this and I, I can apply another interpolation technique, which I'm going to go with isolate. I'm going to play it again. So I'm getting this particular animation. Straight to um, file and export this particular animation as a movie. Also, what the one thing that I can do is I can uh, I can export the refocused image as a JPEG. Now let's see what we have uh, at the end. This is the output that we got from uh, the picture that we have clicked. Uh, so thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'll be doing more workshops on Lightro and multimedia later. Um, till then, I'll see you. Bye bye. Uh, this is the realest shit I ever wrote. Now I'm playing, but my eyes are getting hella low. I've been smoking hella dope. Life has been incredible. Traveling around the